Hey, man. Watch out! It's a woodpecker from space! Alright guys, I just finished firing my sculpture and I'm going to go and check out to see if it made it. I'm going to go see if the kiln, so this is where I have my kiln, by the way it's freezing out, that is why I have it here inside. So this is my kiln, might be a little bit hard to see but we're going to open this up and see, oh yeah it's here, oh it made it. So. Let's kind of prop it up. I fired two things. So when you first come into the kiln, make sure that you let this uh, dry overnight or let it cool overnight. So I've had the sculpture in here for about three days and I fired it at uh, low settings at first and I actually had this lid wide open and just let the uh, kind of um, air blow out because if you fire things slowly, chances are that it won't blow up and if it doesn't blow up that's what we want you know I've had sculptures blow up and I'll show you one that I worked on that was very disappointing it was a standing figure and as soon as I put it in the kiln the problem is that this kiln does heat up so fast because the controller it's just a very integrated controller and I've been looking to get a better one so if you're thinking about doing ceramic sculpture which is a really awesome form of sculpture you should consider some things you know you can fire things that are very solid very slowly for a few days and they should fire but sometimes kilns like this do not have the temperature settings to to work uh, very slowly here what I tend to do is like if you see up here there's a, a notch for low, medium, and high, and then one in the middle for low, medium, high, and then one at the bottom. And I keep the, the top one uh, turned on with this thing open in the beginning. So here is a sculpture a friend of mine did. Uh, a friend of mine, Leisha. Oh my goodness, what is that? Something is, oh wow. I think I fired it so much that it became glass oh I have never seen that so we're gonna we're gonna look at that oh that is kind of an amazing I have never seen this it's as if it dripped down but that definitely looks like it's glass I think the kiln went so high that it started to become glass that, so that's kind of interesting so all of this could be cleaned up um, and you can see the holes I made in the back just to kind of get rid of uh, a little bit of the clay. Move the other hand. So this is the one I did. Me and my friend did. Hand that I did. And I don't know, it looks kind of cool, I guess. You can see some of the fractures that it started to get, but the surface did not break at all. And it's kind of like a neat, it's kind of powerful. Uh, you know, I like it. So here are two hands. Might be very difficult to remove with, uh, there we go here we go oh it's heavy heavy but not too heavy you know I did scoop out a lot so here is the sculpture we're gonna see if it so that's one that's when it's all fired look at that that actually looks pretty decent this is terracotta this is the look of terracotta actually this um, sculpture came out perfect as far as the firing this came out absolutely perfect I don't think I've ever seen a sculpture that has fired quite as well as this you know we're gonna clean it all up and we'll apply wax so generally if there's a crack in the sculpture I will you know put some sort of plumber's putty or something and hide it and then I paint it but with this because it came out so nice as a terracotta and there is something really beautiful about 
unpainted terracotta then I'm just going to leave it like that uh, the only thing I'm going to do is apply a coat of wax but I think this came out really really fantastic so this came out just amazingly well for a firing it didn't crack in one single you know spot and let me see I can do this really quick that's the holes that I dug to get just a little bit of clay out and we'll clean that you know this is a sculpture that's strong enough you could leave it outside and it wouldn't break you know the only way it'll break is if you drop it from you know a certain point but that's kind of an amazing firing see this is that standing figure that I did and now it just joined the garden this one exploded almost right away it was very disappointing because I worked on it so much but the firing of this was completely my fault I fired it too fast and that is the key you want to fire things really slowly in the kiln so this kiln I bought for 50 bucks so they are out there good deals but the reason I got this cheap is because apparently it doesn't have sections that are working that makes your life a lot harder so that's it's a give and take so what I do is to balance out the temperature I open up the lid and let it warm up for a few days so that's not an exact science but it does seem to work quite a bit so that's it I just wanted to give you a status update